morning, good morning guys. I'm Elle, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving a full review of the Baby Jogger City Select Luxe. I have reviewed uh, two strollers so far on my channel and you guys seem to really enjoy it. And when I found out about the City Select Luxe, there were some features in it that I thought I cannot wait to share it with you guys because it's something that I've never seen in strollers before and so I'm really excited to show you some of the features. We're also going to be taking it for a bit of a road test today so I'll show you how it handles. This is something that is suitable from newborn all the way up into toddlerhood. Currently I have my older son Ford who will be four in about a month and then I have my younger son Cohen who is one and a half and well a little over one and a half. He'll be two in just about three weeks. Before we go ahead and jump in, if you're new to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure that you have the notification bell turned on. We do family and lifestyle vlogs on this channel and then I also do a bunch of mom related stuff, product reviews and just topical stuff all relating to motherhood. Let's go ahead and jump in. So first I'm going to give you an overview of what the City Select Lux has to offer, some things that I really like about it, some things that I would change um, and then we'll go ahead and show you the configurations. This stroller has some amazing configuration options and then we're going to take it on the road to see how it handles with heavier kits. They have a wide range of canopy color options which I really really like. A lot of the times with some other strollers you get really like you know big prints and really vibrant colors and that's just not really my jam and so I love that a lot of their stuff is quite neutral, it's gender neutral and then they do have a really nice Merlot colored one if you're into more color but I chose the gray. So this canopy has a really nice UV protection to it, so your kids when they're in the stroller are protected from the sun. I also love that it has a magnetic closure for the peekaboo, so that way you're not fussing with buttons and toggles, it's a really quick up and down as you may need. There is the nice mesh peekaboo option at the top, so you can take a quick peek to see you know, how your kids are doing, um, if they're asking you a question you can't quite hear, or if you just want to check to make sure if your walk has worked yet and they've fallen asleep. So that's a really nice feature. There's a nice toggle at the back which allows for various tilt uh, levels for your baby if they're taking a nap in the stroller and it gives a really nice comfortable horizontal lay and I really like that feature. Another thing that it offers is there's these two buttons on the side and when you press them you can angle different feet options. So when they're a little bit younger, you might want their feet to be straight out as they get older or as you're uh, integrating other configurations with other seats, you might want to change the foot angle and I like that it has that option. Another thing that I like is the extendable handlebar. I'm 5'9", arguably 5'10", and so a lot of times when I'm pushing a stroller, it feels like I'm pushing a toy stroller. So I really appreciate the uh, various handlebar lengths, so whether it's you pushing a stroller or your partner pushing the stroller, it can accommodate different heights of parents, which is really nice. There's a handbrake on the handlebar. You just toggle the handbrake down to lock, and then there's a little button that you push up to release. Um, I personally prefer the uh, flip-flop friendly uh, foot brakes to hand brakes. I just find them a little bit more user intuitive and easier to use, but really that's a personal preference. If you prefer hand brakes, then you will love this. Over on both sides of the stroller, there's an available water bottle pocket. And so this is adjustable, so you can adjust it to various water bottle sizes. And it just nestles easily into a little button here, so you can have one on each side, uh, one for your toddler or baby, a you know, water bottle, and one for yourself. So that's a really nice option. Okay, moving down the stroller, I wanna talk about these wheels. You have the really nice sized, oversized back wheel, slightly smaller, but quite large comparatively to other strollers, front wheel. So this allows for some great off-roading. If you're pushing the stroller on gravel or grass or sand, larger wheels are gonna help with shock absorption, so it's gonna give a smoother ride. It's also gonna help with maneuverability, and it just gives a better overall stroller experience for yourself and your child. The front wheels also have the ability to lock, so if you're pushing in sand, you're not gonna have the front wheels uh, telescopically moving, and that sets a clear path so it's easier to maneuver in sand, which is really, really nice. Something that I love about the City Select Lux is the under basket. First of all, it's huge. You can store a whole heck of a lot. You can easily fit your oversized diaper bag, as well as your purse, 
um, maybe even a couple uh, items from the mall or whatever shopping bags that you might have in this under side uh, storage. It's a really large capacity storage. Something else that I've never seen in other stroller models that I think is genius and why have another people thought of this before is this lovely elasticized front and back. So you're not finagling and trying to get in and out of things and you know having things get caught. You can easily push it down, access what you need or shove in what you need and let it go and it all pops up back into shape. So it keeps things secure, but it makes it super accessible to get to and I love that feature. Moving on to the seat itself. It's got a really nice padded seat so it gives a comfortable experience for your child. It's got a lovely five point harness and what I like about it is it has the lower and upper straps separated. So you can combine them by just sliding it together like that. They easily slide together and lock into place. And then you can snap it into the center strap. And that gives your typical five point harness. What I like about it is as they get older and they don't necessarily need the shoulder straps, you have the option to just do the waist. And I really like that feature. You have the option of getting a regular kind of handlebar that you see with, with traditional strollers, but it also has the option to purchase a snack tray. So this one, I like that it um, swings out on both sides. You can remove it completely or you can decide which side you want to open and close from depending on what side of the stroller your child's getting in and out of. The only thing I would, I would say about it is the snack tray and uh, drink portion are quite shallow, more shallow than I've seen in other models. The drink one, not as much as the snack tray. The snack tray is the most shallow, but to me, it, it is more shallow than other ones that I've seen, so that may or may not be a problem for you. Another feature that I like, which you don't see in other strollers that are comparable and most competitive to the City Select Lux, is that on the back of the seats, there is another elasticized pocket here. So this is where you could, you know, hide a couple things, your wallet, cell phone, something like that. And it's right on the back of the chair, so it's easily accessible. I thought that was really, really smart. Before I go ahead and show you all the various configurations that you can do with the City Select Lux, I just want to show you the uh, ease of fold and how flat it folds because I know that that's a big deciding factor for a lot of people. To fold it, you just want to push the handlebars in, then down by the logo here on both sides, it says uh, fold, and so you just easily pull these sides up. It doesn't offer the standing fold like some other models do, but it does lie really quite flat. And so if uh, space is an issue for you, this is a really great option for a stroller because it does lie really flat. This part of the seat also folds completely flat. So if uh, lengthwise uh, space is an issue for you, it, it compacts even shorter as well. So to open it up again, all you have to do, there's a little hand uh, handle on the side here. You just lift that up and it comes together really easily. And then you can just lower. The seat. One of the things that is unique to the City Select Lux is it has a full size seat as your second seat option. So it is a full double stroller and there's lots of different configurations you can do. You need these accessories which can come in a kit with your second seat. But there's also benefits to just keeping that in even in the single uh, seat mode. And the reason is one of the cool accessories you can get is this shopping tote. So you can have it in two different ways. You can have your, your seat on the extended part here facing outwards, or if you push these buttons, you can also flip it to face mom. And then these little slats on the side of the shopping tote easily fit into the same area that the stroller does. So you can have you know, your diaper bag underneath, some of the shopping items, if you're at the grocery store or the market or the mall, you can have your shopping items here and you can still, you know, talk to your, your child while that's happening. Or if they're more interested in facing out, you have that option as well. So I really like this um, configuration. It also works the other way. So if you want your child to sit closer to you, Again, they can sit facing out this way, seeing the world, or if they feel more secure, they can be facing mom, and your shopping tote can go on 
the front of the stroller. So even in the single uh, seat mode, there's lots of variations that you can do. Another option that might appeal to you when you have an infant is using uh, the infant carrier. So you're going to need uh, car seat adapters, which are sold separately, uh, and they have a wide variety of various infant bucket car seats that you can use with the City Select Lux. So I'm using the Baby Jogger City Go infant car seat as an example, but as you can see, it fits nicely with the uh, shopping basket option down there and you can again switch it around as you'd like. One thing I will mention that I found a little odd is to use even the City Select City Go, which is the same brand as the City Select Lux. And I found that a little bit odd. Some uh, competitive brands of strollers, as long as you have the same branded infant car seat, it fits directly into the stroller so you don't need adapters. Whereas you need adapters for the City Select Lux, that's something I personally could get over very quickly, but that might be a stopping point for some of you. Another option for the stroller with an infant, you have the option of an infant bassinet. So again, this can go on the front of the stroller with the shopping tote closer to you or vice versa, however you would like. You can use the same canopy that's on the seat in your baby bassinet, so this part will have a nice canopy for baby, and it comes with this removable uh, foot muff to keep baby warm in colder temperatures and it velcros and snaps in safely. Now this infant bassinet is a little bit more shallow than I've seen in some other models, but it's, uh, it's still an, a deep enough uh, depth for newborn babies. And it does have a nice soft foam bed pad to lay on. So now we're gonna look at some possible configurations. So here's where things really get interesting because this is something I have never seen in any other stroller option to date. So you know a lot of strollers have the standing board so that the older child who may only want to be in the seat sometimes can stand on the board. You can see that the City Select Lux does have that option, but it also has a seat option, which I've never seen, and I think this is something that Ford would find really fun. Another issue that often happens with standing boards is your toddler is occupying the space that you would normally stand in to push the stroller. So suddenly when your toddler's there, you're pushing the stroller like this, which gets very uncomfortable and it's very hard on your back very early on. So this seat option eliminates that issue. So this seat has the three-point harness which with adjustable straps and it uh, attaches safely onto the stroller frame. And so your toddler can sit on the seat with their feet comfortably rested so they're not dragging their feet on the uh, sidewalk or road or wherever you might be and it allows them to easily um, sit down and have a rest, but feeling like they're in a big boy seat. I think this will be a big novelty for Ford. I haven't shown him this yet, but I'm guessing he's gonna love it. And so you can configure it facing, both of them facing towards you, or with the second seat facing away and your kids are sitting back to back. I think this is so innovative of the Baby Jogger City Select Lux. I've never seen anything like it and I love it. Another thing that I like is if you're switching back and forth from having uh, one child in the stroller and having two children who may or may not want to be in the stroller, you can easily place your seat on top of the sitting, sitting board and it just kind of tucks away. So it's not something that you have to constantly remove and install into your stroller. You can just kind of keep it there tucked away while your older child is walking, it functions as a single stroller. And then as soon as your older toddler gets tired, wants to have a rest, you can just move this seat forward quickly and easily and there's a place for your older child to rest. So cool, right? Showing you the different possible configurations, we're going to take it on a road test with the boys. So I'm going to try it with uh, both of my children in the regular seats to see how it handles, and then I'm also going to take this top seat off to see how the under bench seat and stroller maneuver. So in terms of weight and maneuverability and handling of the stroller, when I was pushing it straight on rough or smooth terrain, it gave a very smooth, comfortable ride. So I really, really liked it. Five stars there. When it was
was turning corners and my kids total about 70 pounds. I did find there was a bit of drag around the corners, but not too bad. What do you think of the seat? Is it pretty cool? Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I'm on the stool. You're on the little stool, yeah. Because <laughs> this is not too high. No, not too high, it's perfect. Okay, let's try it out. City Select Lux. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, click that thumbs up button. And once again, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any other videos. If you have any other follow-up questions, leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to answer as many as I can. And also let me know in the comments below if you're currently in the market for a stroller, which are the ones that you're weighing between. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!